Hey guys, Omerko here, a self-taught web developer with another video for Angular Material series. Before we start, I would like to mention that next to YouTube, you can also find me on a Skillshare platform. There you will find many of my courses where we together create a real-life project using a, a variety of different technologies. If you are not using a Skillshare platform at all, down in the description of this video you will have a link which will grant you one month free access to a Skillshare platform. So now, let's start with this video. First of all, let me present to you what we will build in this video. The chips component is very unique and user friendly. And here at the top we have a simple example of that component. By the end of this video I will also show you some additional examples of chips component. The first thing that we need to do is prepare a component for our chips. So here in my terminal I will generate that component with command of ng, g for generate, c for component and I will generate component in components folder slash chips. Once our component is generated, I will open up my app and open my app component HTML file. First thing here is that I will hide this checkbox from the last video here. And after that, I will use a command of chips because I wish to use that chips component. So here I will use chips itself to render the component in my main app component. And I will also put the end comment here of end of chips as well. As we wish to use a chips component from Angular Material, we will need also to import a module for it. So to do that, I will open up my app.module.ts file and in this file I will import mat-chips module and I will import that from at angular slash material slash chips. One thing to make sure here is that matchips module is also passed in our imports array down below. So from this point we can just dive into code of chips component. So I will open up my components, chips and chips component HTML file. First thing that I will do here is create the div just so I could center this chips component well in the center of my screen and to this div to do that I will need to pass a style attribute. So to this attribute I will pass a display as flex. This is a flexbox styling. Then next to that, as we are using a flexbox, we are able to use justify content and I will set center for that. And also I will use margin on the top side to be 50 pixels. So we could move it a bit from the top. And now inside of this div, we will create our own chips element. To create the chips element, we must use the mat chip list element. And here we can well render the list of chips basically. One thing that we can make sure to this list, we can pass area label and we can set this to something. For example, let's say that I wish to select a car by these chips. So here I will set the text of select a car. Now inside of this list, we can simply add some of the chips. So here to add a chip, you need to use mat chip element. And here we can just simply pass BMW as a car, well, as a first chip. Next to this simple example of mat chip, we can also create another one. So mat chip once again, and here let's put the text of Mercedes. To this here, what I would like to do is pass a color, and here I will pass a primary color from my Angular Material team. And the last thing here, mat chip once again, let's set Audi for this one, and color here, let's not use primary, let's use accent as an example and I will pass the attribute of selected. By the way, you don't need to set this selected to be equal to anything, just pass it as an attribute here. Now go to your local host and there you could see the list of chips. The first chip as you see is just the basic chip that we created. To our second chip, this Mercedes chip, well we pass the color of primary but there is no color here at all. This is because it must be selected to hold that color. And that is why our third chip, Audi, have a color, as it also has that attribute of selected. Now, if you would go to Angular Material website and also go to this examples tab of chips component, there you will find many additional examples and not just that basic example that we did. By these examples, you can see that we can use chips 
in our autocomplete so we can combine two components we can also use chips and use it with this drag and drop from angular material cdk next to that we are able to use it well to perform some kind of styling uh, for our forms itself and also down there we can use it basically with our input fields for example banana here hit enter and you will be able to add that chip into the list of chips also you will be able to remove one the example that we did is similar to this basic chips example and obviously if i did all of these examples that you just saw well the video would be much longer but if you wish to see those examples as well make sure to comment that uh, down below in this video and i will make sure to create the videos for those as well once again if you wish to watch more content from me make sure to find me on a skillshare platform there you will find many of my courses where we together create a real life project using a variety of different technologies if you are not using a skillshare platform at all at the description of this video you will have a link to redeem one month free on skillshare now this will be all for this video guys thank you all for watching if you liked what you saw please click like and subscribe as i am posting a new content weekly thank you once again and i will see you in my next video bye bye